Some 200 children under the age of 10 now have state medical marijuana cards. And now one mom in Colorado Springs says marijuana has cured her four-year-old son's cancer. Rick Salinger on that story tonight. Rick, even with that progress, the boy is still using the marijuana. Yes, Jim and Karen, parents have made amazing claims about treating children with marijuana. We've been following the progress of one young boy who was diagnosed with leukemia. And on our third visit, we were surprised to see a big change in how he is taking his cannabis. In, blow in. Good job. <coughs> Yay! Four-year-old Landon is one of now 214 children under the age of 10 with medical marijuana cards in this state. He began with what's called CBD oil from marijuana containing a very low level of THC, the psychoactive ingredient. Now he is doing what's called vaping, in which the heat activates the THC. He is... 100 times better and it's hard to imagine because when we saw you guys he was 100 times better than he was a few months before. This is how Landon appeared two years ago. His mother Sierra says he was near death. She claims the chemotherapy was making him sick. So she switched to marijuana oil and moved from Utah to Colorado. Child Protective Services gave her an ultimatum. Use the bottles of chemo medication or risk losing your child. I took all of them in and I set them down. Here's all of these pills that you said he cannot live without. Landon did continue to do monthly intravenous chemo treatments in a doctor's office, but that's not what she feels has made him the healthy looking young boy he is today. Do you feel marijuana has cured his cancer? Yes, I do. Why is he still taking pot? So who's to say that we, oh, he's cured now, so I'm gonna stop giving him the marijuana and then he relapses. Dr. Larry Walk is head of the Colorado Health Department and himself a pediatrician. He fears what could happen if the boy continues. I'm concerned uh, because uh, we don't yet know what the potential harmful effects of vaping or eating uh, those kind of products are. But he says they do know marijuana can harm brain development in children. Figures from the state registry show 357 under the age of 18 now have marijuana registry cards. 110 of them are from 5 to 10 years old, with 104 between 1 and 5. At the Riddle home, the risks seem to be far outweighed by the perceived benefits. On this visit with Sierra, she prepared a treat for Landon. I'm making Landon a cannabis smoothie. It has bananas, chocolate, oranges, coconut water, and yes, marijuana. It's good. For a growing number of young children in Colorado, marijuana has become a health food. Landon was recently back at the doctor, and his mother told us today that he was determined to be cancer-free and doesn't need the chemotherapy anymore. Research will be needed to determine if cancer really can be cured by pot. Jim and Karen? Well, we certainly wish him the best. Rick, thanks very much.